everybody, my name is Ricky Dicky, and this is Silent Age. We're going into it now. Almost at the end, we've got this chapter, and want to go, and remembering that credits is not a chapter. Anyway, so, uh, let's see, what did we do last time? We were outside Alcon, trying to get in, and there was a bit of a twist, well, not twist, but sort of a vital update that appears to be uh, me shooting Lambert. Possibly, we don't know that. But always when it comes to temporal mechanics there's always a loop. Something, it always goes around in a circle. That is. So you start here, you're going through, something temporal happens at point A and then your other self is still here and it's like a ever spiraling loop so you never know you could end up meeting yourself in five years time or whatever that's not advisable at all because the catastrophes of you meeting yourself is just unimaginable and not advised probably by scientists and professors of pioneered things Anyway, meanwhile, <coughs> back in the game, in Chapter 9, we're now inside Arkham. Now, reading the little premise here. Upon infiltrating the labs, Joe finds himself racing the clock. <coughs> Literally, it's a temporal game. We must, <coughs> he must, excuse me, choking. He must destroy the Polaris supercomputer before the time pilot departs and returns with the virus. Because he goes into the future, brings out the virus, and everybody gets killed in the past to inevitably start the future. But anyway, right, I'm getting into it after we start for the purpose of the video. Go! Right, we're fantastic. So, <clears throat> if you recognise, I think this is pretty much where we started at the very beginning of the game. But didn't have this little temporarily do here, which I'm going to press. Okay, the hatch, is that important? I have no reason to go back up there, I'm on a mission. Oh, fair enough. There's no power... Ooh, soil. Soil drop for the hatch. Okay. Right, control panel. Let's see if we can get out of here. Brilliant, the doors are open. I love the change in music as well. I also love the transition in music from when you travel to the future. And then back to the past. It's got that sort of dark feel. Okay, oh, what are we got here? Large processing unit. No. This isn't the computer you're looking for. Oh, sorry, that's Star Wars reference there. A window. Let's have a look in the window. What do we have? We've got. I see a bunch of large cylinders. Good. Keypad. Oh, close level four. These things are. These things are color coded. It looks like I need the green access card for this one. Okay. How about this one? Boop. Usually these things tell you the access card colour you need to get in. This one is unmarked. Okay, let's try this. Boop. Oh, and look what we find. We find a corpse. It is a, it's a green diamond. Right, that's what it is. No, he's, he's got another one of these. Oh, no, it's a key card. Of course it is. Okay. Door. Oh, let's go to the door. A door has been manufactured. I've got to stop saying that. Never mind. Caution. What's this? Most of the letters have peeled off. It just says cats. Ah, cat meals. Right then. What else have we got? Lab coat. Uh, it's a few tattered shreds of a lab coat. And here is the Polaris 9 supercomputer. It's not much to look at now. It's hard to believe this was ever that important. So this is the computer that I'm trying to destroy, so obviously somehow I was successful in the past in destroying it. Maybe, possibly, don't know. Can't get through that door. Let's try this. Everything's on in the past. Oh, this is the present rather. It's just, uh, ah, brain's melting. Ooh, something on the floor. Instant camera. Well, it's there, so it hmm. must be instant. It's instant camera. There's even film in it. Why would they keep it? Why would they keep that here, though? Why would they document time travel? So here's a time machine. <sighs> a few are still here, just like Dr. Lambert said it would be. So this is 
looks very similar to what Dr. Lambert had in his house in the basement level, but this looks like a more sort of advanced version of it. Time machine console. Can I go back in time? Can I go forward? Uh, something to do with the machine. I don't have much to do with that. Okay. Well, you can't go back in time according to the law of a game. If you invent time travel at a certain point in time, you can't go back. That's what I understood, but you can go forwards. It's going to be an idiot here. And uh, well, there we go. Let's just tinker with that. Oh dear. Is it me or did I hit gunfire? Move! Can he go any further? Yeah, I could definitely hit gunfire or something. Okay, I'll, I'm, I'm, I'm going back to the present. Coincidentally, I don't really want to get caught um, down here, I don't think. Shouldn't be here. Right, let's go back. Let's use the green card in the reader. Fantastic. It worked. I guess I finally get to see what's in there. Okie dokie. Right, so what do we have? Gauges or gorges? I don't know what they do. Should we be messing with them? Okay. Console. This must keep track of the people in those tubes. Ooh, this one's empty. Oh, hello. It's empty. Well, yep. Okay, moving on. Even though Dr. Lambert prepared me for this, seeing it with my own two eyes makes my blood run cold. I suppose they're cold. It's a cry thing. Uh. Ugh, this man was frozen with his eyes open. Can I get through the door? Oh, I can. Ooh, it's red. Ooh, Vader. No. Ah, who's this? It's Frank. Ah, oh, it's my co worker. Wait a minute. I thought he left. <laughs> Never mind. Let's just see, what, let's see what's in here. Cabinet. It's locked. Unlocked fire cabinet. Ooh. Cabinet drawers are unlocked but empty. On the upside, I think I just found a temporary fix for that leak. Oh. Oh, the leak. I didn't even see that. Pipe is a leak. It's dripping all over the floor. Alright, okay. Light wall. What's this do? Ow. Ow. This fluorescent light is pretty bright. B bright? Bright, even. I suppose it yeah, okay. Uh, what's this? Trash can. What's that on top of it? Oh, apple. <sighs> Nothing here but an apple core. What's this? Retinal scanner. Frank? Oh. Hi. Oh! Hey, <laughs> Joe. Hi, Frank. I didn't see you there. Scared the crap out of me. And me? I can't believe you're here. I was supposed to they be told here. told me you quit. You got to go upstairs and everything. Yeah, didn't you? Quit. quit? Oh, right! Yeah, well, you know me. I'm a career opportunity guy. Something else came up. Yeah, what? Management gave me your job. Well, sort of. The same responsibilities, at least. And, well, my own, so... Is that right? Well, good on you, Joe. Best of luck. Now, if you'll excuse... They said you already left. Did you forget something? Yeah. No. Uh, yeah. I forgot... Something. Listen, I'm a little tight on time here. Go to elaborate. Wait, what are you even doing down here? I think. Well, like I said, I, I was given your job, so. Oh, right, right. W still, this part of the labs is actually off limits, so you probably shouldn't be here. I, I, I have a no. card. Right, I know. <coughs> I just happened to see you, so. Well, I need to get going too. I, there's some important. Uh, there's a. A spill. I need to mop up. That was it. Hey, can we grab a beer down at Izzy's when this is over? This week, I mean. I could really use the company. Beer? Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Great. Guess I'll leave you to it then. Fine, good. Looks like we're going for a beer. Okay, I... Uh, just out of interest. No, Frank really doesn't like having his picture taken when I snapped that shot of him at Izzy's last year. To commemorate his first third anniversary, uh, nearly snapped my wrist. Pulling the film. Oh, he nearly stopped it. Okay, well, I don't think I'm going to get in there. Door. Yes. It won't happen. I think the terminal on the wall is. Yeah, okay, let's just do this. Alright, is there anything in here? Cabinet. 
Open file. Well, let's just see if there's anything in these cabinets. It's empty. At least that leak stopped. Essentially, it looks like someone was in a hurry too. The rails are all bent out of shape. Oh, that could be Frank. He's looking for something. So if I can't take a picture of Frank... I think what I need... Because it's a retinal scanner, I don't have clearance. There's nobody else around here but these two gentlemen here. Or females, don't know. This guy has got his eyes open, because if you see back from this, it should uh. say, this man was frozen with his eyes open. So I'm just going to try something. Instant camera. There we go. Right, now I have a picture of his dead eyes. So I just wonder if I can get past Frank by using the photo with a retinal scanner. Whether he's going to say something, oh, you're not supposed to be in there. It would have worked. I'm going in, so you there can't. you are. Uh oh. Why the hell haven't you done anything about that leak yet? I ha oh. The leak? Wait, Hello? I did. Hello? Anyone home? The leak Oops. next door, numbnuts. Okay. Do you have any idea how much the research in those file Cables. cabinets is worth? No. That's oh, better. How could you? Just fix that leak, or so help me God, I'll have HR fix your walking papers. Oh, thank you. <sighs> Wait. You're so kind. Look, I'm sorry. We're all under quite a bit of stress right now. I'm on my third pot of coffee it's and probably why. a thing to eat yet. Yep. I could get you something from the vending machine if... Vending machine? Vending machine? Gee, thanks, Professor. I never thought of that. If I could have something from the vending machine, don't you think I would have? I didn't spend eight years at Cornell earning two doctorates just to have some schmuck buy my lunch. Well, fuck you, then. On a diet, moron. I didn't know that. Sorry, I'm, I'm getting agitated again. You rude bugger. Diet? I'm not sure. I. It's an all fruit diet. Ah. The missus ordered me on it after my last physical. The irony is that it's supposed to help me with my high blood pressure. Right. But now I'm just as angry all the time from low blood sugar. Tell you what, you find me some fruit. Counteracting cover measures. For me while I slip out for a quick break, and I won't report you for the leak. Yes. Anything will do. Uh, nectarine, perhaps, or. An apple? Yeah, an apple. That's the ticket. I'll find you an apple. Make sure that you do. And fix that damn leak! Sorry. Temper again. <laughs> right, well, okay, well, I seem to have fixed the leak. Accidentally, I guess. Accidentally on purpose. Uh, shelves, I've got the shelves, I think there they are. Ooh, photos. There are some really scary photos on here. All very sick looking people. Bubbling beaker. What's that, what's that about? There's a label on it. High hydro, high hydrofluoric acid. That's probably what it is. Can I pick it up? Can I speak to him again? I better not. I don't know what he'll do the next. If the next words coming out of my mouth isn't a combination of apple, and here's your well, here's a. Is apple. this some kind of joke? Yes. What's the matter with you? I didn't see any I'm apple so I can sorry. find. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> right. Oh, hang on, hang on. I didn't do that. Oh dear. Oh, what's that? He might not be very nice to me, but nobody deserves this. This is dustpan. Well, I picked up a dustpan. Can I combine it? Guess not. Um, is there anything else in here? Shelves. Let's see what it says now. Don't really see anything you saw. Lots of broken glass. It's a corpse. That beaker's gone anyway. Okay, I don't know. What do I do with this dustpan, I wonder? Oh, he's gone. Oh, quick, let's have a look at the cabinet. Huh. Frank's gone. A lot of files seem to be missing from this drawer now, too. Let's see if I can open this. It's locked. Uh, let's 
see where he's gone. Ooh. I think there's anything else in there. It's a bit watery. A bit flooded rather, not watery. That's uh dustpan, 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 dust well. Well this door's still over, let's have a look. Must be something in here. Soil. Oh Well, there's a thing. Let's see if that happens. Big scoop full of soil. I thought there might be something under that. What the fuck is that for then? There. Sounded like it came from the end of the hallway, so all the way down here. Oh, shit. Hang on. Let's go in there quick. Did it come from in here? It's gone! Shit. No, 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 no. The time machine is gone. This wasn't supposed to happen. Oh, of course, the time she went and he was there. Shit, oh god. Okay, calm down, think. Maybe if I just destroy that computer, uh, we need to move fast. Okay. Uh, uh Soil with supercomputer? I don't know. Sure, I'll just draw it. What's the sign say? Caution, keep away from liquid materials. Huh. Apple computer. What sort of sense does this make? <laughs> Not a lot, obviously. Uh, right. Why do I have soil? Why do I have soil? Don't know. Okay, let's chip her back in here. Something's happened. Oh, whoa, I didn't do that. Meanwhile, oh, okay. Story's progressing. This means that from now on, you will be in charge of not only yours, but <sighs> Frank's assignments too. That's right. That means downstairs lab sanitation, drain assignments, the works, with all the clearance that entails. That's a lot of responsibility we're investing in you, Jasper. I, uh, I thank you, sir. Uh, but what about Frank? It's Joe, by the way. Oh, so this is happening as before. Oh shit. Um. I wonder if I can use that with that with the bubbling beaker. I'll reach it. <laughs> no thanks. I don't want to spend my last remaining days sipping hospital food through a straw. What is that for? Right. It's full of soil. Oh, hang on a minute. Okay. Oh, ah, ooh. I have an idea. Put the apple in. There, should do the trick. Now, reap the fruits of labour, literally. Fuck. Wow. Yeah. Huh. Holy moly, it worked. Whatever it was, the sludge of those pipes did the f yep, trick, so. I... Nice. Oh, I've got a proper apple. You're a genius, Joe. Don't let those eggheads down there tell you otherwise. Ha <laughs> ha. Right, so now I can give this scientist dude the apple. I might be able to get that beaker. Run! There we go. And you brought me an apple. Good. Yes.
There's no eating in the lab, so I'll just pop out for a few to get some fresh air. Uh -huh. Anyone asks, I'm up on 14 redacting Tuesday's pathology reports. Got it? Just don't touch anything. Oh yeah, sure. I I promise I won't touch um um this bubbling beaker. Uh, I've got yes, to better do some real damage with this. Man, the smell alone makes me all dizzy. Now that that close, is there anything else? No. Okay, let's get the frink. Let's get the frink out of here, because I think I now need to go up to the Polaris machine. Oh no, well, the apple's still there. <laughs> that clever. Okay, so bear with me. I shall be right back. Okay, here we go. Oh, wait, I hear someone. Oh, I know where this is going. Should, should I be writing this down? I don't have anything to write with. Shut up and pay attention. <gasps> you are standing on the brink of an extinction-level event sent in motion by greedy halfwits. It will eventually end the lives of every man, woman, and child on the planet. Oh, crap. No, no, no. He's, I mean, gotta come out the door. Oh, I can't meet myself because that would cause a problem. Shit there. Okay, there I go. <laughs> wow, everything felt really weird for a second there. That was way too close. But I've got no time to lose now. I need to take that computer down. Ah, oh, bollocks. Here we go. Okay. Oh, shit. I need to go. Nice of them to leave the door open for me. Bastards. Right, so, here's the computer. There's. Can I wear the coat? Yes, it's a lab coat. Of course it is. Pour the acid on the supercomputer. Whoa. Uh oh. Holy cow, it's melting the right through the control panel. Oh, I'm going in there. Is he still alive? Oh cock! I was supposed to be there. Doctor this. Lambert, keep your voice down. Yikes! Shh. You, you're alive. Well, <laughs> for a little longer at least. Ah. But how? I faked it. Faked you what? What? You detailed this exact scenario to me forty years ago. Remember? <laughs> of course you do. To you, it was a mere day ago. The earlier version of you had to see me die and get dragged off, so as not to alter the course of action that brought you to my doorstep in the first place. And yet I had to survive long enough to assist you in carrying out your mission. So I staged my premature demise. Ah. Uh. So, you're, you're not dying? <laughs> oh... I am dying all right. Oh. Despite my better judgment, I attempted to circumvent getting <coughs> shot by taking a different route to the labs than originally planned. I foolishly believed I might actually bend the rules of cause and effect. A gaping hole in my gut makes it pretty damned evident how that turned out. Dr. Lambert, I... No more questions. Did you destroy the research data like I asked? Yes. The computer? Yes, sir. Yes, I did. Thank God. Now there is just one last matter to attend to. I need you to stop the last time pilot. The one who just left. Shit. Fortunately, we know exactly where, or should I say when, he is. Yeah. The device. Give it to me. You see that console behind you? Oh, I Check I the do numbers that. in the first line of the fourth column and read them back to me. Yeah. Um, okay. Four two nine four nine six seven two nine five. Are you? Are you sure that's correct? I'm sure. Dear God. What? 
I have configured the device to return you to the same destination. Here, <coughs> take the device. Go end this. One last thing. <coughs> you can never, never. Dr. Lambert? Are you... Dr. Lambert? Sir? Uh, is he really dead? Hello? He's not breathing. Oh! I pressed the button without re Right somewhere in the distant future. So this is before... Oh, we're in Chapter 10. Mobius Trip. Oh my. What? What happened? Oh. Okay, I'm gonna stop there for a moment. I'd love to carry on, but... Ooh, God, that's eerie. So we made it to the last chapter of The Silent Age. Chapter 10. Mobius Trip. So... Well, he faked his death. Ah, uh, to keep the causality loop going. Yes, I'm pretending to know what I'm talking about. Apparently. Um, so... Yeah. So... Oh, I don't, I, don't, I don't know what to make of this. So now, my last and final objective is to stop the temporal pilot from coming back to what is my present and giving off this virus that kills everything. But, ooh, the music's eerie. But anyway, this is the last chapter anyway. I'll just read the uh, little premise there before we go on. So this is the Mobius Strip. In chapter 10. What a mess. Having narrowly avoided encountering the other self, that's... Yep. Joe finds that the time machine is gone with Dr. Lambert's help. Joe is put in pursuit of the time pilot, but where? And when? is this place and this we'll find out in the next episode so engage title screen and please like subscribe and comment hit the bell icon ring ding that sort of thing and uh cheerio